So welcome to my unboxing video of my Thrustmaster War Warthog uh, joystick. Um, I'll also take you through the various buttons and uh, axes that the joystick actually has uh, so that you can um, fully appreciate what you get for your money. Um, obviously I got mine shipped but if you buy it in a store this is the box that you'll see on the shelf. Um, on the left you can see the throttle stick, on the right you can see the joystick. And uh, there's a lot of information on the box, as you can see it explains all of the buttons, all of, all of the axes um, pretty well, which it needs to because of the price. Um, so without further ado, let's get in there and uh, have a look. Um, everything's very well packed, um, very safe. Uh, the box does weigh a ton, it's very, very heavy, um, and that's because the joystick itself is very heavy. Okay, there we go. Just a little shake to loosen things up. And inside you'll see the two white boxes. Okay, so the smaller box is the, um, is the throttle. And uh, there's no assembly required on the throttle, but there is on the joystick here. So let's have a look at that. Okay, you can see the base and the stick itself are uh, separate there. And here's the base, and but both both sections are you know pretty heavy. Um, you can see a, a yellow arrow there uh, towards the top, and you actually screw it in with that circular section. And uh, this helpful documentation: uh, do this, don't do this. Um, basically, you just line up those yellow arrows so that the joysticks face in the right direction push down pretty hard and uh, tighten up with the uh, grey circle. And then you're ready to go. That's it. You simply uh, plug it in and uh, download the drivers from the Thrustmaster website. Quick look at the stick. Okay, let's have a look at the throttle now. Like I said, there's no assembly required on the on on this section. And a quick look at the uh, throttle. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's have a closer look at the joystick now. Let's start by looking at the uh, throttle here. Um, so basically you have your throttle slider here. Um, you can actually detach them, uh, just slide this across here, and then you actually have two axes. Um, I think this is, in most software, this is called the Z axis, this is the, the uh, uh, ZX axis. Um, and uh, also, um, you actually have another axis right here. And uh, it sort of like sticks in the middle, which is how it's set up to to work. Um, and basically, that's uh, that's it on this side in terms of um, axis, except from uh, this here, which um, you might have had one of these on a laptop um, in the middle of the keyboard. Um, it's actually a mouse. Um, you can kind of move this this stick around here and uh, you can you can use it as a mouse and then you push it and uh, that's that's an active button there. Now what I'm going to talk about in terms of buttons is I'll talk about how many positions they have and then how many buttons there are for those positions. Like here with these um, there's a single button but there's two positions. There's on and off. On and off. Uh, now with these there's actually two buttons and uh, there's actually three positions to create two buttons and uh, it actually sticks on one of the buttons but when you're pressing for the other button it's it's only a temporary press it'll only actually activate that button while you're holding it there and then as soon as you release you obviously have turned off that that button, and then this side it sticks so that it's always on until you until you manually turn it off. And uh, this this side 
react the same way. You've got a button there and a button obviously at the front. Um, now here, uh, this is a single single button, um, off and on, and it obviously sticks on at either end. Um, this is a pressed button. Uh, this side you have a button in the forward position, a button in the rearward position, and it'll stick on both of those, and then off is in the middle. And then at the base here you have off and on, off and on, a pressed button, and you have a button at the bottom, a button at the top, and off is in the middle. And here on the side of the, uh, the throttle stick you have one button, off, two buttons. Okay, turn this around. Now, like I said uh, earlier, this is a uh, mouse right here. Um, you have a pressed button right there. You have a point of view hat with four different buttons there. A uh, point of view hat with four different buttons here. And uh, you can also press that one in as well for an extra button. Um, this one here it uh, it actually has two buttons um, now in the rearward position it doesn't stick it'll only be activated as long as you're holding it there and then as soon as you release it's off and uh, when you slide it forward it sticks um, this next one you have uh, a button going forward that it sticks a button going backwards that it sticks and in the center position it, it's off uh, this one you have a button and a button and it doesn't stick in either direction. So let's have a closer look at the stick itself now. Um, in terms of feel, um, it feels very good in my hand. It's uh, very nicely sized. Um, I don't really have any comfort issues with it. Um, the only thing really is that after extended usage you kind of start to feel like the, the lip of this here on this section of your hand. Um, it's not a big deal but uh, it's certainly worth mentioning. Um, so let's take you through the actual controller and uh, look at the buttons here. Um, that's a button. This is a point of view hat with four buttons. Point of view hat with four buttons. Um, this is a point of view hat and uh, it uh, says in the manual there's eight positions. I, have, I actually haven't found a situation where I could use them yet. Um, so I'm not completely sure uh, how that works. You know, perhaps rather than being digital like these are, it's more of, more of an analog point of view hat, or I don't know. The manual kind of doesn't say. <laughs> um, this is a point of view hat down here, and uh, you obviously push in for a button. And then on the front here, you have button, 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 and over on this side, you have another button. So, you're certainly not short of buttons, especially when you put the two together. And putting the two together is really how it should be. I mean, you can buy the sticks by themselves, but that's not really giving you the full effect. And although they do work independently, um, really you're buying a replica of, of a real plane. This, this is the, the real plane here. This is an A10, um, the, the exact model of stick is an A10C, uh, which is obviously called the Warthog or, or the Hog. Um, and if I move my head down here, you can see exactly how good of a job they've actually done rep uh, uh, replicating this stick. It looks basically exactly the same as the one which is in front of me, and uh, this uh, flight simulator here from Eagle Dynamics is obviously going to do a pretty good job replicating the stick um, for their virtual cockpit, and uh, to me it looks almost exactly the same, the stick itself, and you can see the the throttle panel um, over on the left of the cockpit there, that looked very, very, very similar as well. Um, I, I don't think even perfect is really too strong of a word to use there. I honestly don't. Um, but flight sims are one thing. 
how about Space Sims? Well, this is another type of game that I like to play, and uh, at first, when I got the Warthog, I really felt bad because I thought that I had um, lost the type of control that I had with my old Thrustmaster T16000M um, that I really needed, and that was to be able to twist the stick. Um, but what I've actually done is I've started using flight sim controls for space sims, and really that has made all the difference. I actually feel like I have a better controller set up now. Um, and uh, basically the only thing that I've done is I've started using foot pedals, which I would use for the rudder on um, fl uh, flight sims, for the uh, yaw on a space sim. And um, I, I obviously use left and right on the stick for roll. Um, and basically that's all I've needed to do, along with all of the point of view hats and everything for any directional thrust that I need to do. I'm all set for space sims. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.